Number 14 then from paper one of the 2016 higher maths, six mark question on logs and it's a nice straightforward log question. Just what does a log mean and use the rules of logs to gather them together. Well the first part's only worth one mark so you get the answer just, you get the mark just for stating the answer. And of course you can just state the answer because what does log five mean? It means what power of five gives me this number? And the answer is two. 25 is 5 to the power 2. Stating that gets you the mark. There's no need to go through that routine of oh, log 5 of 25 is log 5 of 5 squared because by the time you've done that you know the answer in advance and then bringing that to the front so it's 2 times log base 5 of 5 and then saying oh but what's log 5 of 5? Well, what power of 5 gives me 5, that's 1. Well, that's how you could have got your 2 in the first place. So B. For 5 marks, you have to solve this log equation. Notice you've got base 4s and base 5s, but that's not a problem because they both have to be the same in order to operate on them, but that's just a number, which you worked out in part A. There's a wee extra bit x is greater than 6, just because you only get logarithms for numbers that are greater than zero. So the steps here would be, use your rules. If you're adding the logarithms, then that means you're multiplying the values that they act on, the arguments they're called. And you already know that log 5 of 25 is 2. Now, in fact, you get two marks for this. I have no idea why because you get one mark for saying that that comes to 2. Use the result of part A, it says. And you get one mark for using the law of logs to add them. Now the next part, luckily, I'm glad to see this happening now. In order to solve that, you don't need to then change 2 into a logarithm base 4 and then say the logarithm of that, like this for instance, how can you make 2 into a logarithm base 4? Well, you can make 2 into a function acting on it as long as you do the function of its inverse. So if I do log base 4 of 4 to the power 2, that's still 2. So that's equal to log base 4 of 16. So in this line, you could have written, but it just takes a long time, doesn't it? Log base 4 of that equals log base 4 of, then you'd have to fiddle that back into base six, uh, base 4, which is 16. And then you would say, well, the logarithms are a proper function. There's only one answer for each input. So if the answer to this is the same as the answer to that, the starting value must be the same as the starting value. But you don't need to do that, just use the laws. They've got it written down this way here anyway. Which is the sensible way to do it. You're solving an equation, so apply inverses to remove functions you don't want. What's the inverse of log base 4? It's 4 to the power. So this is 4 to the power 2, straight away. That's the next mark. Glad to see that coming back in. And then bring it all to one side, because this is going to be a quadratic. So obviously you've got x squared. Minus 6x, that's a 16. Minus 16 equals 0. That gets you a mark. The marks are just piling onto the page here. Next part would be, now, solve that. Well, it's just x's. Multiply to give 16 with a difference of 6. Well, that's 2 and 8. The larger one is minus. This one says it's plus. So now you've got two answers. x is negative 2 x is 8, but you had to begin with x has to be greater than 6, which means x equals 8, as x has to be greater than 6. And the last mark was for solving it, was well, actually two solutions, but identifying the appropriate solution. So it's this line here that gets that mark. Didn't put the extra mark in there, remember there was a mark just for stating the two, and the other mark was for joining them together, so it was two marks there.